only place in the world, South Florida is the only place in the world that has crocodiles and alligators. Salt, mostly in the Everglades. Salt water, crocodiles, alligators, fresh water. Stop 29 coming up. We can go shopping once again at stores at Ross, Tarjay, and Disposal. Anyone for Stop 29? Shopping? Shopping? Brazil shopping? South Africa. You don't need a Black American Express here. Any colors are good. Every second Saturday we have an art walk. It attracts thousands of people which has made this place extremely popular. Which has attracted the attention of all the deep pockets in Miami. What I mean are the stores, corporate stores, like Mattress Firm, that's not. It's important to know that this place was empty before. Midtown was created as a direct result of our art district becoming incorporated. They built it literally two years after they noticed that this place was on fire. In a good way. So, every second Saturday, Artists find an excuse to come out here and use our entire district as a canvas to produce new art. Here's one of those pieces, the purple-faced girl up ahead. Imagine how hard it was to paint inside of it. Can anybody see the artist's name? I kind of bet I said I've been trying to figure it out. Is it right there black? What is it? Marple there. This is our stop 30 for the But I, the irony that I like to point out is the people who created the atmosphere for making money in the area of Midtown, you know, the, the stores like, like, like Target, are the people who didn't have any money at all, the artists. This area was empty. And to be frank, this place was filled with homeless people in empty buildings. Empty because they were old and run down so nobody wanted to use them but not demolished because they were Art Deco, so they had to be preserved. And I'm never proud. I'm always my This area is called Little San Juan. And the houses on the right are built out of Florida slash Pinewood, a scarce Florida resource. It should be reforested because it's absolutely magnificent. It survives Category 5 hurricanes. It's resistant to termites. A lot more that can be said for a lot of other structures in the city. Florida slash pipe. Slash pipe. Coming up, we have the heartbeat of the Woodward Art District. There's a local artist that paints oranges all over the city. His art is coming up on the right hand side. It's after the Orange Bowl and the Orange Bowl Parade. His name is Atomico. You can look him up on Instagram. Most of these artists' names are uh, searchable on Instagram. The facades of these buildings are for the most part done by the artists who's featured inside of them. For the sake of festivals such as Art Basel, so that when you walk the city or the district, you know where you want to go just by looking about. Which helps a lot when you're in the midst of 10,000 people every second Saturday. And we're approaching our stop 31, the Windwood Art Walls. And we're going to hold the bus at stop 31, um, Carlos. We have a couple of bags that we put passengers that want to get off of the bus. Check it out, we have some cool heels hanging from the wire up ahead. <laughs> Wood Tavern is a cool place on the left hand side. They have every selection of beer you can imagine. And on the right, a permanent installation of artwork with a free admission that's called the Windwood Walls. You can see a picture of Tony Goldman, the mastermind behind this area wearing a cowboy hat in the background. He's dead now. Our stop 31 is here. See here? It's not there, it's here. Welcome to here. And now, my friends. So, every every 45 minutes. Uh, 4.42, I think, is the last time the bus stops on. Not too sure. But it says it on your map. Cheers. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, everybody's getting off. Whatever, we didn't need you anyway. Ciao. Ate mais. Ate 
nogu. Ciao, ciao. Alright, let's get out of here. make that association because look at the little baby shoes hanging from the wire on our left one. You think a little gangster baby threw those up there? It's a hard knock life for that. We have little art shops that sell cotton t-shirts for a hundred dollars. It's not just a t-shirt, it's art. At the end of the road on the uh, right hand side there's a white building with a white bridge at that white warehouse. That's where Fast and the Furious was filmed when they peel out of the bridge. On our left hand side we have the artwork of a Brazilian artist, Luto Mupadu on our left. And now look at the Beatles behind us on our left. See the Beatles? Coming up is a French clothing shop and studio gallery, painted in pink and metallic on our left. The artwork of the facade of this building, of the concept, is Ian Ross. You can see some more of his work coming up on the right hand side. You can look him up. And the work of Fetus, a cool artist uh, that paints little, little cartoons on the right hand side. You can see him in the daycare. I'll get ready to say hi to the kids. little monsters, that's what your kids actually look like when you leave them at school. Low tree is coming. We're approaching Overtown, the historic African-American neighborhood of Miami. And when we turn, you'll, you're going to see some cool houses that were built by a humanitarian organization known as Habitat for Humanity. There are about 38 houses here. They were built in 2003. And the ones on the left, irrelevant by the way, remind me of Edward Scissorhands, the movie. Which is me. Anyways, the low-income families who applied for the houses, they didn't just get them for free. They helped to build the houses. They donated 400 hours of their time to build these homes. They earned them. And I think, personally, that's just my opinion, well, that's fantastic. Can you imagine if the whole world had to build their own house? It would be a different place. Entirely. Granted, women would have really good biceps, but I could sacrifice that for peace. We have a lot of churches here. Mostly of the St. John Baptist variety. Churches were used to pray and worship during the daytime. And at nighttime, it was a place to have fun. A place to congregate. To listen to blues or jazz or gospel. This is how communities like this, Overtown, who were affected by segregation, were grouped together during tough times. The churches became almost like nightclubs. Just no disco. So this area is where Muhammad Ali used to live. But you will not find his house because the highway that was built here destroyed his apartment. His name was Cassius Clay. He was 22 years old. And he would run from here, this neighborhood, all the way across the bridge to Miami Beach to train for six hours. And then after training, run back to his apartment every day for weeks before his fight began. That's why he went. Coming up on the right, we have a beautiful Gothic style church. St. John 
Baptist Church. Muhammad Ali could have taken the bus. He could have taken the bus to go to Miami Beach, but he didn't want to send the back. So he did. In the past 10 years, the community of Edmonton has poured millions of dollars into restoring their parks, schools, educational systems, churches, and historic buildings which are many. Up ahead, we have a mural done by the artist Curtis Young. He's an autistic homeless man who passed away some years ago. And he used to paint about the violence that was in this community in the 1990s. He never saw one penny of the profit that upscale galleries earned from selling his work. But they remembered him by adding his murals all over the city. Now. We have some low trees coming, low, 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 low trees. So please be careful. Be careful with the snakes that hang from the trees. Our next stop is at 32, the Black Police Precinct, the only museum of its kind in America. And these black officers were also segregated, not allowed to share police departments with white officers. On the left-hand side, this is where they reported to every day. This wasn't just a police station, it was a jail cell. Uh, they had jail cells, and it was also a courthouse on the second floor, so they would try the criminals right then and there. Only black officers here, for the exception of the police chief, who was white. Black officers were not allowed to have police cars, so if they caught a criminal, they had to walk them back to the station. The second floor is a courthouse, which offers Las Vegas-styled weddings that's still active today. And it's our stop 32, so when we pick you back up in 45 minutes, you can be married. It's fantastic, isn't it? Soul food is what you eat when you want to go to sleep. Chicken and waffles, for example. Chicken and waffles are not two separate dishes, it's chicken with waffles. Syrup of a waffle with chicken, it's delicious. first black millionaire. He was a carpenter. His name was Dana Dorsey and he used to make money by building homes for the owner of the railroad. Lyric Theater where Nat King Cole, Sammy Davis Jr., 
B.B. King, Count Basie, Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington were many of these famous black entertainers that performed. Martin Luther King Jr. gave a speech here one time. Thank you. 